So what is RNA? Well, to best understand this topic, you should check out my video, if you haven't already, called What is DNA? You can do that by clicking here. So in the DNA video, you learnt that DNA is the molecule that stores the genetic information in living things. You also learnt that DNA is a type of macromolecule called a nucleic acid. It's deoxyribonucleic acid. Well, RNA is a nucleic acid as well. It's called ribonucleic acid. So no prizes for guessing the naming convention, R N A. There are two types of nucleic acid. DNA is one, RNA is the other. Now we learnt that the subunits that make up DNA are called nucleotides. And this is what they look like. They were made up of a phosphate molecule, a sugar molecule, and a nitrogen base out of A, T, C, or G. Well, with RNA, it's still a nucleic acid. It's still made up of nucleotides. Those nucleotides still contain a phosphate molecule. They still contain a sugar molecule, but they contain a different type. Now, in DNA, the sugar molecule is deoxyribose sugar. And that's where it gets its name, deoxyribonucleic acid. But in RNA, the sugar is ribose sugar. And that's why it has the name ribonucleic acid. So that's one of our differences with our nucleotides in RNA compared to DNA. But I'm going to throw another spanner in the works because there's also a difference with our nitrogen bases. Now, let me bring the nitrogen bases in that we talked about last time. Here they are over here. We had C, G, A, and T. Now, in RNA, we still have three of these nucleotides, but we are going to swap one of them. In RNA, we do not have the nucleotide T. Instead, we have uracil. U. As you can see, it's still a sugar and a phosphate, but the base is different. In RNA, we have uracil, which is U, and it replaces T. So that's a major difference between DNA and RNA. One of the bases is different. The sugars are different. The sugars in, D in DNA are deoxyribose, and the sugars in RNA are ribose, but we also have a different base, U instead of T. Okay, one other difference that we have with RNA compared to DNA is that RNA is actually single-stranded, not double-stranded like we see with our DNA molecule. So that's a major difference. So we've learnt the important structural differences and similarities between DNA and RNA, but hopefully you're wondering, okay, we know what it's made of and how it's structured, but what is its job? What does RNA actually do? Well, I'm glad you asked. The function of RNA is to produce proteins, and RNA is critical in the production of proteins. And the production of proteins is super, super important for living things. I'll make future videos on protein synthesis, this process that we're talking about here, and you'll see in detail how RNA is involved. Well, I hope this has helped you to understand what is RNA. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.